Komri Soni Ado, alias Kabaka, has reacted to a statement released by a do state government through the Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development, compelling him to pay the sum of 18 million naira as cost of logistics arising from the demolition of his hotel earlier this year. Comrade Adon, who reacted through his lawyer, said the land in question was never owned by government. In a phone interview with Adon's lawyer, he said sometime last year, EDSG issued a demolition order to Mr. Kabakas in respect of his hotel on the grounds that he had built on government land. This prompted us to immediately go to court to stop the action. Judgment was supposed to be delivered on the 7th of February 2020. But to our greatest dismay, EDSG went ahead to demolish the hotel on the 5th of February 2020. This, he said, greatly contravenes established court processes. Also, he said, because we asked an Edo State High Court to order the Edo State government to rebuild my client's hotel that was demolished two days before the final judgment. However, we asked the court to compare the state government to return its hotel to its original state. It was before the first seat he filed to challenge the government, adding that unfortunately the case was stalled by the COVID-19 outbreak. Let's see how the state government will enforce the payments of 18 million naira. What will the court say when the same case is still in court yet to be concluded? The barrister added. Hmm. I don't know, in my opinion, if there is a law, if something is being put in place, if there's structure, I don't know why we'll be going back and forth. We'll be going back and forth. The reason why I say this is that if really there's a law, then why is it that the same law, people will be interpreting it differently? That is where I'm going to. It will be interpreted differently. That is when you'll be hearing technicalities, something that, you know, ordinarily you would think that, okay, this is how this thing ought to go. Oh, the laws are stipulated that if this, if you do this, this will happen. If you do this, this will happen. So anybody that goes or uh, goes against the law, established law, or do otherwise, that means the law... Uh, will catch up with you. But in a situation by some people will do something and they will still use the same law and be interpreting it. Does it mean the law is not really or is not really understood by many? Because, of course, just like a, what the lawyer of Kabaka is saying, that a judgment that was supposed to be delivered a, in a particular day, but the government went ahead to do otherwise. And the government is coming and some people are bringing in some kind of technicalities. No, and maybe the government has the right, okay, this is how it ought to be. But that is why most when it comes to this uh, law thing, uh, it's really, really confusing. And it is the lawyer because that is why they are professionals. They are the ones that will be able to interpret the whole thing better. But in a layman, you would just be wondering that, okay, this is how it ought to be, but it's not that way. And let, let them come and shed light in all of this. But as it is now, Tony Kabaka is not ready to pay anything because I think uh, what they are trying to say now is that before they can even pay anything, let them build the uh, let the building be restored back or let it be built back. Then before they will not talk about the judgment, which was supposed to take place before the demolition, then maybe they, they will not take it from there. I think that's my own understanding of the whole thing. And some people will tell you, oh yes, it is law that uh, if uh, you are being asked as a person to remove your building on government property, or any property, it is your duty to go and remove it whichever way you want to do it. But if you don't do it, then the government has the right to go and remove it. And once they remove it, then you have to pay for the logistics. That is what the government is demanding from Kabaka. But now the lawyer is saying, no, they have to go back to the way the judgment was coming before then. So let's see how everything is going to go because... Uh, in my opinion, the battle line has been drawn. Let's see what will happen at the end of the day. Let's see what the law will be saying at the end of the day uh, to who is going to be favoring. Someone says Obaseki wants to clip Kabaka's wings. Before Kabaka will realize what is going on, election would have been over. Okay? Someone says this is pure truth. Bam. And the illiterate south go only, go only make noise. Hey. Okay, Tony use everything. 
have to fight him outside in coming elections. Just stay calm and watch his way. Okay. You see, talk. Who, who Kabaka? That is how you people keep people in election. See, person way you the support, bro. Hmm. Thoughts and criminal. Now you you the support. People way he judge either former chairman of old already uh, uh, local government. Uh, for 1990, bro, now what for you? In a senior society, you know, say, person like Abaka, suppose they rot in for J or die by hanging since, really? <laughs> well, now the uh, spirit and cause way he received from people, uh, the traders and market women, bus drivers, old women, where he threw away their uh, atete when they take the say pepe okay for market just to forcefully collect revenue where it say become billionaire during ushu mole hmm. worry this is so worrisome okay another says a uh, kabaka okay this one is speaking a uh, bene here uh friends if what we use what if if what you said is true someone must have challenged him in court of law with proof to tell him the ushu mole guilty from this same man Obaseki used to to see in Nigeria as of today because without God Father without God Father you are going nowhere. Hmm. Does uh, Obaseki think he's going to be on that governor's seat for life? Why our people always make the mistake of not considering the time they are out of power? Obaseki, why not watch your back? Lack ways to describe a man who called elected governor hmm. when his family or community can not even produce a man of such caliber. I guess 50 brains put together will not match the intelligence of this governor. Okay, the lawless Obaseki, no regard for the rule of law. That is what somebody is saying here. Someone says, So, Oshomole has respect for the rule of law, or is it Kabaka that respects the law? Those who live in glass house should not throw stones. Fear this uh, 3G. One God, two gone, three governments. Social media lawyers on a well done. I wish them uh, they will win the case like this for Nigeria. I feel too happy. But he pay me say not just data on a the waste because court no recognize on a make on allow the two people fight their battle. Last, last, we must know who go win the fight. But as it be like, say, this state government won't collect their dues. They go collect them. Clean. Clean out. Now, so I see them. Okay? You will be surprised that Kabaka will be compensated by uh, EDSG. As in by the do state uh, government. Okay? Someone say, no be una. No be una. Obase Kisha. Okay? Obaseki case is like a dog in a manger. He's barking furiously, be knowing fully uh, all right that a dog pepe seller have already concluded that he would be slaughtered for pepe soup. The next day, such dogs are the de are very dangerous because they know that they would die. I hope by the time Tony Kabaka and his boys would be having a revenge match after the governor is out of power. People will not see him as an irresponsible thug. Okay. Just like somebody say, you know, it's, are people really supporting this kind of a, this kind of a attitude? Of course, if really there's anything that you're not happy about, the best thing is to go to court. But it's like it is being known that, uh, okay, some people can use any means to disrupt or to deal with other people and which should not be condoning or encouraging such let them just go and dig everything out in court and they will know who is going to win at the end of the day who is right and who is not right obaseki ancestors they worry you some governors are sick and mentally unstable obaseki you have few months to leave that office uh obaseki days are number in government house uh say used by Oshomole to make sure obaseki won 2016 election you can imagine you know there's no smoke without fire all of them, they know themselves. And that is just the kind of country we find ourselves, that the abnormalities have become the, the things that we celebrate. Irregularities have, you know, have been the things that uh, we, think, we think is the normal thing. And because of fear, a lot of people who don't want to talk. Like, if you, don't, if you cannot beat them, you join them. And that is how everything or this whole thing 
has been playing out. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning all this. Leave your comment below and let's have your take. Thank you.